Hey everyone, this is Herrick bringing you another episode of Action Figure This Out and today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Walmart exclusive DC Multiverse Gold Label Dark Flash. Now, I found this guy at my local GameStop here in Canada and as I said before in my last video, all the Walmart exclusives and Amazon exclusives have been showing up at GameStop. So go check out your local GameStop for these figures. Before we get started, let's just take a quick look at the packaging. On the front, you're going to see the figure through the window along with the accessories. It comes with two lightning effect pieces. It says gold label up top and at the bottom it says DC Multiverse Dark Flash. On the side, you're going to see where this figure comes from. It says Dark Flash from Speed Metal. On the back, you're going to see a picture of this action figure along with two other ones. These have different heads, so I'm wondering if we're going to get these variants in the future. On the side, we're going to see it says Dark Flash, and for anybody who needs it, here's the barcode at the bottom of the box. Perfect, so let's action figure this out and take a look at this guy out of the box. When the speedsters are so fast, how could death possibly catch them? A dark amalgamation seemingly out of the Speed Force's own design, with little known about it, it comes clad in black speedster suit with a rotting undead face. It collects the dead of those gifted with speed to return them to the Speed Force at the end of their lives. But that still doesn't stop the speedsters from trying to outrun their own personal reaper. So, let's take a look at the height of this guy. Off the bat, he stands at a little above 7 inches, and that equates to roughly around... 18 centimeters so instantly I'm in love with this look for the flash I like the whole zombie rotting face look that this guy has and matches my black lantern figures I'm gonna be have him be the one chasing my flashes in my display as you can see this flash comes with lightning effects so you can add on to his figure The lightning bolt on his chest is back is a black, backwards lightning bolt and sticking out of the figure. It looks like the symbol for the reverse flash. The rotting flesh on him looks gnarly. He has a screaming face that looks like he's going to take a chunk right out of you. He has white eyes that make him look like he's dead. Very zombie-like. Terrifying. I like the gold accents on this figure. They pop. They make him look like a flash. The flesh on this guy is rotting it looks like that it would match the rest of my Black Lantern figures. The boots look a lot like the Black Lantern figures as well. So let's take a quick look at the articulation of this guy. So he has a dumbbell joint in his neck giving you the ability to look up this much and look down this much. He can look side to side no problem and he has quite a bit of tilt as you can see. For his shoulder, he has a butterfly joint, giving you the ability to rotate this much. He can go all around. He has a ball joint in his shoulder, giving you 90 degrees, over 90 degrees. He can go forward this much, back, all around. He has a bicep cut, giving you full 360 degree motion. A double jointed elbow with the ability to touch his shoulder and he has a McFarlane ball joint in his wrist giving you the ability to go up and down swivel side to side and rotate he has a bice, um, a diaphragm cut he can go all around as you can see look forward this much he can look back this much way back side no problem side no problem he also has a cut at his waist giving you the ability to go forward this much, back this much, side to side, quite a bit. For hips, he has the Ratchet and McFarlane hips, giving you a full splits, as you can see. He can kick forward this much, he can kick back this much, quite a bit, and he has a little bit of rotation. He has double jointed knees. He can kick his own ass, as you can see. He also has a sculpted ball joint in his ankle, giving you the ability to kick forward and back. As well, he has articulation in his toe.
So now that we've taken a look at the articulation, let's take a look at how he compares with other figures. Alright, so first we're going to take a look at how Dark Flash stands next to the Wally West Flash and Godspeed. Alright, here we have Dark Flash standing next to the Reverse Flash and the DC Rebirth Flash. Okay, now we have Dark Flash standing next to the Ezra Miller Flash from the Justice League movie Zack Snyder Cut and the Injustice 2 Flash. Okay, next we have Dark Flash standing next to the Red Death Gold Label version and the regular Red Death. Okay, here we have Dark Flash standing next to the Death Storm Black Lantern and the Black Lantern Superman from Blackest Night. Alright, so next we have the Dark Flash standing next to the Black Lantern Batman from Blackest Night and the Grim Knight from Dark Knight's Metal. Alright, so now we have Dark Flash standing next to the Black Adam movie wave of figures, Black Adam and Tim Drake Robin. Alright, so next we have Dark Flash standing next to the Page Punter's John Constantine and the Page Punter's Black Adam. Alright, so next we have Dark Flash standing next to the Owlman from the Crime Syndicate and Superwoman. Alright, so here we have Dark Flash standing next to the Black Adam movie wave of figures, Hawkman, and Doctor Fate. Alright, so here we have Dark Flash standing next to the Booster Gold and Blue Beetle from the Booster Gold and Blue Beetle 2 pack. Alright, so I think that should be it for today. Thanks for joining me in another episode of Action Figure This Out where we took a look at the Walmart exclusive McFarlane DC Multiverse Gold Label Dark Flash. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more video reviews of your favorite action figures. Again, this is Herrick with Action Figure This Out, signing off.